For this video, we're gonna be looking at the posterior impingement test, which is a test that is designed to provoke uh, symptoms that would be consistent with femoral acetabular impingement, specifically at the posterior aspect of the acetabulum. Now, this might look familiar as it is very similar to the modified Thomas test where our patient is at the end of the table and we're going to be creating kind of this reciprocal motion between each limb. And so to begin with, what we need to have our patient do is we're gonna have them lie back onto the pillow and draw one knee towards their chest. Now, as they do this, have a uh, blanket or a drape uh, close by where you can come in and place this in and around your patient. Now, why this is important is to maintain privacy and decency of your patient because of the area and the region in which you're working. At this point, you can ask the patient to pull this in towards their chest and hold. Your attention is then going to be on this limb. And what you're looking to do is to extend and externally rotate the hip. It is a passive test and you're looking to get to maximal hip extension. So if you need to have the uh, patient reset and slide down a little bit on the table, you certainly can if they have kind of hypermobile hip extension. And a positive result would be pain that's either located in the groin itself or in that posterior portion of the hip that being the buttock region. So uh, you can then switch and move to the opposite side. But again, this is the posterior impingement test. Have a go with a peer or colleague. Let me know if there's any questions.